Hi, today we're going to take a look at the SunDisk Extreme Pro Portable SSD version 2. So, let's see what it can do. Today we will be taking a look at the second generation of SunDisk Extreme Pro SSDs to see just how far this new generation of NVMe drives had come. Back in 2020, we looked at the first generation of SunDisk Professional series of SSDs, and today we will review the second generation which promises to provide up to two times the transfer speed using NVMe technology and USB 3.2 20 gigabit per second Gen 2x2. Before we go any further, it is important to understand the main differences between this second generation drive and the first one and how it may or may not affect your buying decision. While the first generation drive used the now very common USB 3.1 Gen 2 which has a maximum transfer rate of 10 gigabit per second, the second generation version doubles the speed to 20 gigabit per second using the USB implementers forum super convoluted USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 naming scheme. So far this all sounds great, but the problem is that at the time of writing this in mid-2021, there are almost no laptops, if any, and very few motherboards that natively support USB 3.2 20 gigabit per second. If you have a desktop PC, your best bet is to buy an expansion card, which is exactly what we had to do since without it and even when connected to a Thunderbolt 4 port on our brand new computer, we're still getting only 10 gigabit per second transfer speeds. The external design of the Extreme Pro version 2 is basically identical to the first version. The only way to tell them apart is the SanDisk logo on the back. From our perspective, it would be nice if they had the big V2 markings somewhere as well. The drive has the same semi-porous rubberized coating as the previous generation and a single USB-C connection. It also has an IP55 rating with some protection against splashes and falls. Other than the USB upgrade, the only thing that really changed with this drive has to do with the AES 256-bit hardware accelerated password protection support. We didn't find a need for that so far, but if you store a lot of sensitive content, this might be something that you will want. The drive comes with a USB-C to USB-C, as well as a USB-C to USB-A cables, which are both about 30 centimeters long. Perfect for a laptop, but still a bit too short for comfort if you're working on a desktop and need to connect it to the back of the computer. When we first tested it with our newest desktop computer, which has a Thunderbolt 4 port, it didn't seem to work with the supplied USB-C to USB-C cable and was not detected by the computer. Surprisingly, it was detected by a different USB-C cable, but initially it produced extremely slow read and write speeds. After making sure that there was nothing wrong with our system, we realized that there are other users who also ran into these issues. What seemed to resolve this for us was performing a full format of the drive. After the full format, the drive seems to perform much better, but we still needed an add-on card, so we got one from Gigabyte, which worked with our motherboard out of the box, without any drivers. Hooray! Quick note, we later realized that some of our USB Type-A connections on our new computer are operating way too slowly. We are still investigating and we double checked our results on another fast computer just to be sure. The one thing that always works is the subscribe button. So hit it and hit the bell icon. We're back and we're going to take a look at performance now. We perform two types of tests, a synthetic test using the Crystal Diskmark 8 software and a real world test where we transferred over 200 gigabytes of videos, stills and other files to the drive and back with different cables and on different connections. All of these tests were done using our new PC and you can see the specs on the screen right now. Now let's take a look at the results using USB 3.1 or USB-C to USB-A cable with the SanDisk Extreme Pro SSD version 2. Just a reminder, the first version of this drive performed exactly the same in real-world performance on our previous review, so you won't be gaining any speed by using version 2 drive on USB 3.1 connection. 
Moving over to the performance test using the Gigabyte adapter, and as you can see, with the adapter we got a promised synthetic score boost, but the actual speed in our real world test is only between 20 and 30% faster. So let's conclude. We started this review thinking that this is going to be a quick look at a straightforward update of a great pro level portable drive, same design as last year but with significantly better performance at a slightly higher price. It turns out to be more complex than it looks. To get the most out of this drive you simply must have the hardware to support USB-C 3.2 Gen 2x2. If you don't, you're stuck with a drive that performs at about the same speed as the previous generation with better encryption as the only bonus. In all honesty, we would really prefer it if this drive just used USB 4 or Thunderbolt and despite a potential price increase, the current lack of 20 gigabit per second supported devices and the direction in which we see the computing industry heading means that releasing this drive with USB 3.2 20 gigabit per second support makes this a very difficult sell in our opinion. Bottom line, if you're going to use this drive with USB-C 3.2 Gen 2x2 supported computers, this is a great option at a reasonable price. If not, either stick with version 1 of this drive or move up to Thunderbolt 3 based devices. Just keep in mind that you're going to pay a hefty premium for that, at least for the foreseeable future. When it comes to pricing, the 1TB version of the V2 drive that we have tested currently sells for $230. You can also buy the version 1 at a similar capacity for just under $180. So that was our look at the SanDisk Extreme Pro Portable SSD version 2. You can check out the full article with all of our test results on lensvid.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos just like this. See you next time.